stop number two on the Castle GTX Cup Series brings us to The Rock. Rockingham. It's the running of the GM Goodrich Service 400. Uh, Going to be a good race here today on this 1.017 mile racetrack. On the pole, just like it was at Daytona, as a matter of fact, except reversed, we got the same front row. Except uh, Johnny Gardner, who was the outside pole surfer to 500, starts pole today at 164 miles an hour. Alongside of him, Trent Dunham, car number one, the Skull Classicals wheel, he started on the pole for the 500. So, kind of funny, you got the same front row in the, for the, at, at the second race of the season as you did the first. Um, starting in row number two, it's Arnold Columbia at 27. Alongside of him, Sean Galligan in 17. Row number three has Brody Talley in car six. And alongside him, the seventh of Kyle Sosnowski. Row four has, Jared, has Jordan Newman in car 29. Alongside of him, Cole Daly in 24. Row number five has Chris Dawson in car number 33. The Skull Bandit Oldsmobile. And beside him, Dylan Poteet. Former winner here at The Rock. He starts in the 10th position. A couple of blue cars have the 6th row. Jeremy Duby, car 12, the Raybestas Buick. And alongside of him, Jessica Shelton, the Season 11 champ and Season 11 winner at The Rock, starts alongside in the 12th spot. So we're about to get things moving here at The Rock. Here here comes the command to fire, them in, the, fire the engines here at Rockingham. Drivers, start your engines! And the party engines, and here we go as we're about to get set for for 40 laps of racing here today. The track can the race can be a board fest or it could be a caution fest. Whatever happens in the rock, so it'll you know, be interesting to see here. You got all Ford on the front row, all Chevy on the second row, all Ford on the third row. And so kind of funny how the pattern works out. Pace car ducks off on a pit road, about to get set for 40 laps of racing here today. Johnny Gardner and Trent Dunham will lead him down here at the Rock as we're about to get set for green flag, and we are underway. Johnny Gardner, what a start! He took off like he took off like John Force in that start. But Trent Dunham wastes no time; he even moves to the inside lane because he knows the inside lane the, is the best lane at the Rock. You get up in a high side at all, you're very much screwed. So we'll see what happens here. As Gardner leads the first lap here, Ford's on the front two spots. Then the Pontiac of Arnold Columbia, right behind his buddy Trent Dunham in the in the one car. Brody Telly in the third position, or fourth position rather. Here comes Jordan Newman, a good run for him. So far, he runs in the fourth, he runs in sixth, fifth position as he takes a spot from Chris Dalton. Jeremy Dibby making a move inside of Sean Gelly. He's got the help from 18 of Preston Porter and a 9 of Jessica Shelton. Those drivers didn't have a good outing in the Daytona 500 last season here, and now you're on board with Jessica Shelton. Number 9, Coors Light Ford. As car number 9 runs position number 9 right now. Meanwhile, Trent Dunham getting shoved around a little bit right now as he drops uh, from second to fourth. Now Chris Dalton has a move he and jo he, as he gets by Jordan Newman. Arnold Columbia, meanwhile, makes trust to close in on Johnny Gardner for the number one position. Now Brody Talley in the third position in the, in the sixth car. Last lap by 165.35 miles an hour. It's fast speeds around a one mile racetrack. Let's show you where the from the back to the front now. Joshua Balkin getting around uh, the 71. Uh, Brian Judge. <clears throat> Couple of newcomers in the series. Henrietta Fitzwater uh, is back there. William Duncan usually runs good anywhere as he now. Uh, Way up in the high side. Caught behind 70 now we're in 26. Kev Shears back there. Almost pulled off a Daytona 500 title in his first ever start. PJ Williams was leading at the white flag in the 500 and uh, lost that one. 
as well. Now she now he gets up underneath the 20 of Dalton Day. Grant Thomas and Dylan Poteet back there. Darian Taylor goes inside of Austin Talley in 21. And Batson up there. She's won this race before at the Rock. This is, of course, the sponsor's race, GM Goodwrench. She gets around Sean Gelgan out behind Mayonnaise. Charles Jackson in the five car. Kyle Matthews is up there. Joshua Collard had a good run in the 500. Kostas Noski. There's the 500 winner, Zachary Fitzwater. But so far, pretty much single file the first eight or nine spots. And meanwhile, Arnold Columbia all over the back bumper of Johnny Gardner. And that's from the back bumper of Johnny Gardner's car and Arnold Columbia all over him. Needless to say, Johnny's got one big angry Kodiak bear staring at him in the rearview mirror. Now we're beginning to get pretty much single file racing here at the Rock. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll shake things up here for a, a, a while. Johnny Gardner, car number 11, the Budweiser Ford, won a race at Sonoma this past season in the Eric Medlin Cashel Syntec 350K. Here comes Brody Talley on the inside of Arnold Columbia, no can do. And now Trent Dunham gets loose into turn number three. And Dalton goes inside, he gets by. So does Jeremy Doobie in, in number 12. Doobie went winless last season. He's not won since the season 10 Daytona 500. Dunham losing spots now, and then he falls in the clutches of Jessica Shelton in number 9. Shelton has always run well at the Rock herself. As I said before, though, if you know the Shelton by now, you know she's a huge Chase Elliott fan, as evidenced by the number of her car. Number 9... Of course, like Ford, she's a he, she's also of course a, a huge Bill Elliott fan too. So, so, but so and and kind of ironic that Bill Elliott cars have been working very very well for Shelton though in, as well as in uh, her career in the series, as well as so the seven won the season eleven championship with the car number nine the, the number ninety four McDonald's car she ran last season. But now back with the Milling Racing team, and she's been very, very stout. Although the results of Daytona didn't quite show it, but still. Nonetheless, she's making for it up here. The Rock, as she gets up, up, up behind the 29 of Jordan Newman, trying to take spot away now. That's for sixth plus sixth place. And again, on board with Jessica Shelton. Shelton in 7th position right now, Trent Dunham in 8th, ninth is Preston Plord, and 10th position is Keith Batson. Batson uh, had, didn't show, Batson had nothing to show for at Daytona in his run, and he's doing very well here at the Rock so far. He's in a battle between he and Joshua Osborne for the 10th position. Osborne finished 3rd in the 500. Driving for TriStar Motorsports this season, a pair of Fords here. Batson in an 89 Thunderbird, Osborne in a 90 model. Mike Becker in 12th position right now, 13th is a 75 of Charlie Rodriguez. Zachary Fitzwater in 14th position, 15th is Kosnowski, 16th is Ian Dutta, 17th battle, battle for 17th going on between Dylan Young and Kyle Matthews and Charles Jackson. Now Jackson alongside of his buddy Seth Cole 
as they go down in position. Cole trying for, I think that's for the 20th spot. I'm not sure. Let's see where Seth is at, is at this time by. Seth currently clocked in the 19th spot. So that drops Mayonnaise down the 20th. Darian Taylor, of course, here, a rookie in this series, by the way. Darian Taylor, we've heard of the name before in the, in the old uh, Castro Edge Nationwide series. At one time, drove for Turner Scott Motorsports with, in that series in the Nationwide, in the Castro, GT, in the Castro Edge Nationwide series. Ran very, very well with that car. In fact, won at Nashville Super Speedway with the, the 31 car, the old Justin Allgaier car. As Darian gets a, is in a battle now with the four of with the four car of Joshua Collard. Darian running pretty strong right now as they see a little shuffling going on right now up, up, up a little further up front as Matthews and Young still going at it. Ian Dutta going inside of Zachary Fitzwater now. And Trent Dunham still losing positions now as he gets keeps getting screwed on the high side now. Now Dunham tries to find up under his way, his way under, underneath Joshua Osborne. So we got battles all over the track right now. Top five still remains status quo right now. It's still Johnny Gardner who's led the whole way right now from the pole. Arnold Columbia is in second position. Third position is the Six of Brody Talley, Chris Dalton in fourth and fifth position now is Jeremy Dibby. Fourteen laps to go here at the Rock. Arnold Columbia's got to be thinking right now, what do I have to do to pass Johnny Gardner right now? I've been standing at the back been staring at the back bumper of Johnny's car for the past about 25 for the past 20 laps or so he's he's probably got the word Budweiser now uh, memorized <laughs> but nonetheless so uh, good runs for some of the rookies so far here it's especially from Arnold Columbia and Brody Talley right now here at the rock right there between a few veterans and Johnny Gardner Chris Darton and Jeremy Doobie And we may have another few couple cars joining the fray as well in the form of Jordan Newman and Jessica Shelton. And Shelton's still trying to find her way around Newman for sixth place. As we see here at the Rock, though, some, though, some ways to get them to get the pass you, you got to try to get a bite on the inside lane. Hopefully you can get up underneath him, get him loose, and move him up the track, and then you're past him. And now, then Jeremy Dibby tried that as they head up in the third turn now, but nothing doing it with he and Chris Thornton. Ten laps to go for Johnny Gardner. So battling still going on back in the pack. Battle for ninth place going on right there. Keith Batson, Joshua Osborne, and Trent Dunham. Batson in, eight, in, Batson in ninth position. Osborne in tenth, and Dunham is in eleventh. Dunham trying to take the top ten away from Joshua Osborne at the moment. Meanwhile, Kyle Sosnowski tries to go up underneath Mike Becker for the thirteenth spot. Now here comes Shelton. Shelton now finally goes inside of, of Jordan Newman for position now. Shelton's got the inside lane trying to work for her. She's trying to take sixth position away, but Newman slams the door on Shelton. Shelton probably thinking, doggone, I've been trying to pass you for the past several laps and you won't let me, so. And now Jeremy Dibby has gotten around Chris Darton, but Darton saying, nah, -uh, I want position back. And he's up alongside, nope. And Doobie slams the door on him now. Doobie at the fourth position. Dalton drops to the fifth. 
But right now, Johnny Gardner doing a very good job holding that lead for as long as he's had. He's, he's held it the whole race. Kind of like, kind of reminds you, kind of reminds you of a, kind of reminding you of a baseball player, a pitcher not wanting to give, give up a no hitter. And that's pretty much the position Johnny Gardner's in right now. Gardner has not won since Sonoma in season 11. And he may be five laps away from victory at the Rock. Meanwhile, Bertie Tully gets up underneath, tries to go up underneath uh, Arnold Columbia for second. Pontiac sandwich in between two Fords now. And Doobie and Dalton are at it again, but now Jordan Newman and Jessica Shelton joins the mix as well. And may want to throw in Preston Plord in the 18. Preston's in 8th position right now. Keith Batson, Josh Osborne, Trent Dunham. A lot of them are now trying to get up a single file mix now. That's about the first 11 cars a uh, single file. Three laps to go for Johnny Gardner. Tally inside of Columbia. No can do. But Tally's not giving up. Two to go now. Johnny Gardner, season eight champion of the series. He drove the number 42 Melly Yellow Pontiac that season. Now driving for Junior Johnson. One of the strong cars in this series. And Gardner is now 1.017 miles away from victory. White flag waves one lap remaining here at Rockingham. The dominant car all day has belonged to this man, Johnny Gardner, number 11, Budweiser Ford Thunderbird for Junior Johnson Racing. He now eyes the third turn, now coming out of corner number four. It may have been a boring race, possibly here at the Rock, but not for Johnny Gardner. He wins today in the GM Goodwrench Service 400. Gardner wasting no time getting his win here. Arnold Columbia, an impressive second place run. Equally so for Brody Talley, who finishes third. Fourth to Jeremy Doobie. Fifth to Chris Darlton. Jordan Newman, a sixth place run for her, for him. Not bad. Jessica Shelton comes on seventh. Eighth, Preston Plord. Ninth, Keith Batson. And tenth position to Joshua Osborne as he holds off Trent Dunham for that position. So, another caution for the event. Average speed, 162.055. Oh, a good, uh, not bad race, though. Although a little bit boring when you get side by side or when you get single file sometimes. He gave you the top 10 already. Trent Dunham comes home 11th. A good, another top 15 run for him. <coughs> uh, Charlie Rodriguez finishes 12th. Mike Becker, 13th. Zachary Fitzwater, 14th. Ian Dutta, 15th. Kyle Sosnowski drops to 16th. Kyle Matthews, 17th. Dylan Young, 18th. Darian Taylor, 19th. And P.J. Williams comes home in 20th position. As you see the rest of the field of cars here, Zed Weinstein bring up the rear. He's not having a good start to the season in 38th. After a solid finish at Daytona, uh, Dalton Day, not a good start for him for Nieder. And Nieder, same, same with Cole Daly and Batson. A lot of big names having a slow start to the season so far. Uh, Sean Galligan had a good run at Daytona, though, as well. But still early in the season, though, as we said, so as as the season goes on. But for Johnny Gardner, as he takes his 1989 Ford Thunderbird out in the victory lane here today at The Rock as we head into Las Vegas. And here's your st standings right now. Jeremy Dewey now has the points lead by 11 points. Here, Henrietta Fitzwater right now currently in 20th position. As you see where you're at right now in the points, Chase. And by the way, for you rookies in this series, the Rookie of the Year in the Casual GTX Cup Series will go to the highest finishing rookie in the points, Chase. So that's going to be how Rookie of the Year is going to be decided in this series. <coughs> it's by highest finishing rook. So right now it's Dewey in the lead right now in the points Osborne's in second Dalton third Vitzwater in fourth position Four, fifth is Johnny Gardner with that big win uh, PJ Williams in sixth position Arnold Columbia right now is the highest running rookie in seventh Dylan Young Trent Dunham and Brody Talley running in tenth position right now in the points 
And I see the rest of the finish running rest of the runners right now on the points chase. And it's a long way to go in the series. 34 light races left as we head to Las Vegas, the next race on the tour for the Las Vegas 400. Don't miss it.